Is that better? <clears throat> back with the boom, 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 back. All right, all right, all right. So tonight we're going to. Uh, I'm gonna try this skull thing again, but I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna try to. Uh, oh my gosh! You guys have to wait. Wait till you see. <laughs> <laughs> what well, we got sent to us. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to basically use this transfer paper. Um, I think I used it a long time ago, like 20 years ago or something. I've never used it since. But uh, Sarl transfer paper. Um, it's a different skull. A little bit different fun, a little fun, funner angle. Um, and it's just, it's a little fast, fun way to transfer your, transfer a photo to your canvas. And then I'm just gonna fill it in with a bunch of gold filigree, fun, flippy do design things. So uh, welcome to Monday Night Art. Here we go. First of all, you guys got to see this. Hi, ATD. Enjoy your gift from Megan Hopkins. I just want to open it and play like... I know. Like... <laughs> Ages 17 and up. Uh, I should tell you something right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do you need help getting that off? Here. I'll have a sniff. <laughs> it looks big in your hands. <laughs> oh. This is going to be fun. Time, 30 to 60 minutes, players, four plus. What? So, me and her can't play it? <laughs> we'll see. We'll have to uh, open that here in a little while. Um, thank you, Megan. That was awesome. Check that out. All right. So... That doesn't mean four years old. No, it says players as many as four or more, ages 17 and up. That's what that says. All right, where's my tape? All right, so, and I just enlarged this uh, skull pick. Um, I didn't even know how big this was gonna get. That was a good one. Um, but it's going to be a fun, pretty good size. It's funny because I just got a commission from somebody today about doing a skull on, on uh, a round. I will probably do that on film as well for you guys. All right, so I'm just going to tape these up. I just had this, I just printed this out. Um, my Adobe, what's it called, AI?
And what you do is you take this paper and you just put it underneath your drawing like so, like right here. And then you get a pencil, whatever you want to use, pencil, pen. Um, and then you just draw your piece, whatever, whatever parts you want to have transferred over to your piece. Kind of hard to see. I think I probably should have pushed harder. So probably a pin. But yeah, pretty easy, pretty simple. Straightforward, makes it faster. If you're not comfortable drawing a skull. Especially at an angle like this, a little difficult. Um, and I'm not going to do any of the details. I'm just going to do the eyes and nose, the shape, so that I can uh, I can just get it. Because I'm going to fill it in with just, like I said, just some gold filigree, some stuff that I just kind of make up as I go. Um, I really like what I did on this piece for my friend Johnny um, up at Makerspace. I like these things they're just kind of like leafy type stuff and then that big outline you can put a couple more lines in there I don't know we'll see and then do some solid ones too so we'll see I don't know how's everyone doing tonight we got a pizza in the oven. I'm kind of stoked about that. Alright, let's line these guys up. Right in the middle. figure out where I want to put this. I'm going to put it like off to the side so I can have some room to do stuff. Like just right at the curve, put it in the center. I don't know why I have all this paint on me. And this is a really weird size. So if you guys want to buy this, this is like 21 and a half. <laughs> uh, I guess it's like um, some of the leftover wood or the circles that were cut for some of the stuff. Didn't want to waste it, so he just made us a, a bunch of the leftover stuff, so it made these sizes. What's up? What's up, everybody? Clara, JJ, Gina, Robin, Sue. Looks like Judy's in here. Doris, Clara, Bethany. Um, does this look dark? Does the overhead look kind of dark? Yeah, it's a little dark. Let's, uh, let me brighten this up for y'all. Oh yeah, why is that off? It's like, typical. Whew, a little bit too much. How's that look? That looks a lot better, huh? What? Why are you talking to me right now? 
Will you get that on the red phone? What? Will you get that on the red phone? All right. I think I'm going to do it more down towards the bottom. Let me cut this bottom part off here. This looks like it was... I think it is a piece of artwork. Looks like some uh, 2010. I don't know. I'll just cut it straight across so that I don't have to mess with that. So I think I'm going to do it down here because I want to put, I want to put a circle. Well, I don't know why, but I, I love circles. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. So I think I'm going to drop them down off to the side, but down. I think that'll be cool. All right. So what I'll do. Let's just trace out where he is here. And see, this this is this is a lot better than uh, doing uh, <laughs> charcoal on the back. I mean, that's it. If you have it, obviously that's the way to go. Or pencil. Normally, I'll just take a pencil and. And just scribble all over the back wherever the the image is. Um, so that uh, let's see here, this will go this way. Right? Yeah, this goes down so then when you turn it over, this is on here. Yeah, I've never seen it in any other colors. This is the first time I've ever like on the uh, on the box it shows there's graphite, white, blue, yellow, and red, which would be awesome. Um, the thing is, I don't really want to see it, so hopefully, um, obviously I got graphite, so it will be a little darker, and hopefully I can erase it. I think I got mine on Amazon, too. I guess I could have probably just used one sheet, right? No, it's too wide. This is... Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. This tape does not want to stick to that. Uh, yeah, Don, it's uh, it's carbon paper transfer. And it comes in a couple different colors. Yeah, this does not want to stick to that. So what I want to probably have to do is put this down because this is like not sticking. Obviously, why would it stick? There's graphite on it. <laughs> so what I'll do is I will put this down. 
and just make sure it's lined up. Good spot. Yeah, that's good. Tape it down so it doesn't move. Do you like your homemade pizza a little over or a little under? Over? A little over. It's barely starting to be brown on the edges. Ooh, excuse me. And then, let's see here. The edge is here, so I'm going to put that up just a little bit. It's pretty good right there, right? I think that's a good spot right there all right so um i apologize if i don't uh answer somebody's question on here if i missed it hopefully somebody on the feed can answer it if i don't get to it i apologize i will be doing some drawing so um and thanks for showing up i know you guys you know you guys are always seeing us do the resin stuff and that's why I kind of posted that earlier, just so that people would know what I'm doing today. So they wouldn't get here and be like, oh man, I didn't want to watch you draw. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna use a pen because that is a little bit, um, a little bit more. I'm excited to see if this is gonna really work because this is a black surface. Let's do this. I'm going to, hold on, I apologize for the movement. I'm going to put this guy a little bit closer so you guys could see overhead. This guy needs to be down and over. Well, thanks, Pamela. Handle her up. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, you crazy. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the outline where all this stuff is, the good stuff here. And then uh, going with the paint and do my thing. You don't have to do the whole thing because um, I'm gonna be going in and out of this thing probably I'll bring, probably bring some of the stuff inside um, or bring it out because I mainly want to do the inside like I want to make you know I want to make the skull solid but still leave some you know black in there
Hey, babe, will you turn that TV off? I didn't either. I totally forgot. I we'll hope that doesn't pick it up. You know, doing stuff like this, people, you know, would say, oh, that's cheating. But it's made for a reason. <laughs> you want to consider cheating? Go right ahead. You still have to draw it in. You still have to paint it in. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not comfortable drawing a skull or, uh, you know, whatever, a dog, a, a boat, whatever. You know, there's nothing wrong with, with uh, having a little help. What do you think it's made for? Better more. Oh, that's fine. Well, look at the, feel the bottom. Can you, is it like, Cripsy? Cripsy. Cripsy. Alright, let's do the cheekbone. A little doughy in the middle. So I'm gonna put it yeah. New stickers! Yeah, thanks, Clara. Um, we have other ones. We have quite a few on there. I just, we haven't been pushing them lately because I don't have a lot of them. So I need to, uh, um, I need to make some more. Um, I gotta, I gotta do that on Sticker Mule, the cutout ones, like the nice colorful ones. I get those on Sticker Mule, which is, they're awesome. Good pricing. They give you a deal when you uh, uh, get more than one design in an order. So it's super cool. I think I'm gonna do the teeth. Probably all separate. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do all the teeth. Now this. Uh, I, I used to work at a art supply store called binders back in the day and this guy came in and looked at my artwork and told him I use a projector and he's like ah oh, that's cheating and this and that and and uh, back then I was like I'm pretty sure I cussed at him <laughs> I'm not sure but it's it's something that helps it helps you learn you know it gives you the confidence to do something that otherwise you would never even try. And uh, I would tell them, you know what? It's difficult drawing it on there. You know? This is just all up in your face on this one here. Sorry for that camera angle, y'all. Um, I said, I'll tell you what. I'll project it up, draw it up, because you have to be soft-handed and do it lightly or your pencil lines are going to show unless that's what you want and then you paint it we'll see how that goes the only thing i'm worried about are these teeth how i'm going to do them i'll probably just do them <clears throat> maybe literal you know what I mean like yeah. look at that I need my kneaded eraser will you, br will you bring me my bag please babe your backpack yeah Thank you. Welcome. Hopefully this is these two guys. <clears throat> Alright, I think it's good. I think I'm I like it. 
I got the basic everything. Teeth, nose, jaw. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. It doesn't have to have all the detail. Man, that really, look at all the fingerprints. How crazy is that? Hopefully I can get rid of those. It does not. Y'all. It doesn't erase. <laughs> Come on. Really? Ooh, it just makes it worse. That is crazy. Oh well. Well, looks like I'm just gonna have to paint black too. <laughs> try water. Let's try a little alcohol. No, because then alcohol might take off the uh um the spray paint because I spray painted this black. And see, that's another comfortable thing about our board, y'all. Is you don't have to worry about, you know, like sometimes I just start painting. And I don't even look at what, you know, what I, what, <laughs> which side the hanger would be on, you know. Like, if there was a hanger on here or whatever. It's all ready to go whichever way you got going. All right, so Can let's do. I would love a slice. I'm gonna eat in front of you guys and gals. All right, let's see if this will work. It does not. It makes it worse. <laughs> it just, it just spreads it around even more. <laughs> Damn it to hell! It like spreads it around, you guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'll just do the gold and then come in with like maybe a black paint pen. What I'll do is I'll just make sure I'll put whatever is here, you know. Something here, I'll make it. I'll make it work. And I got some new little fun thin brushes. Little cheap ones, but they're good. It's a hot as a hot as a tamale. Mm hmm. That is hot. These are just your standard brushes. I got it at Azel Art Supply. Nothing special. Um, I like using these kind of brushes. Um, because of... Uh, how stiff they are. <laughs> um, especially doing the stuff that I'm going to be doing it basically uh, it keeps a good shape and a hard line and you can really get some details in there grocery shopping while watching ATD am I <laughs> JJ you are in need of some vacay brother 
It's a coming. It's a coming. That's what she said. Easy. All right. So, what I want to do, what I planned on doing was um, <clears throat> just filling in the area. I'll, I'll probably leave all these black. Maybe that's what I'll do with the teeth so I don't have to worry about the teeth. And just doing the shapes of it, you know, and leaving, leaving a line. And maybe that's where I'll put the black and do a black outline. And so that'll be cool. Um, where's my gold? Here's my gold. And I want to put down a piece of poster board or something. Ah, this pizza is hot. I'll use this. All right. So I think what I'm going to do... So that I don't, if I spill this paint, <laughs> it won't, hopefully it won't get all over the place. Where's my cup? And I have some, uh, I have paint thinner and I have alcohol and both of them worked. Like one cleaned it some and then the other cleaned it a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to use both of those to clean the brushes. Now I just need a cup for my paint. And I'm using the uh, Montana. <laughs> I wish you guys could see this, but can't see it. Uh, Montana liquid gold. It's basically spray paint in a can that you can pour out. And you can find it on our um, on uh, on the link below in the description on our Amazon list. start this so I just want to like I'll use this guy like I like the idea of just using the angle of the brush like you <clears throat> like because this is wedged like just make it a, a quick boom making it go with the contour of the Right. It's like it's like it, that's the one thing. Uh, this is from Montana, liquid gold. It is beautiful. I always like to stir it up a little bit more. Than Oh, 
got to put my feet somewhere. This thing fell down on my chair. I hate that. The little footrest. Footrest fell. All right. <laughs> it's a good, comfortable chair, Bethany. All right, so. And then I have my other, my, where's the one? My pinstriping brushes that I had. Do you guys see those anywhere? <laughs> I thought I had them in here. Probably use a couple of these rounds too. I don't know where I put those brushes at. Hello? You borrowed one the other day, Clara? Damn it. Sunshine Coast, awesome. We were there twice. All right, so think about, you know what? Before I do this, I wanna do a little bit of practicing first. You guys are supposed to remind me to practice. It's your job. <laughs> And I just so happen to have a black piece of wood right here that I can practice on. I do different types of a uh, of a fe of a, like a leaf. I don't know. I think I'm going to do like just a couple different like hollow ones and outline ones and filled ones. Let's bring this a little closer here so you guys can see this. I don't even know how to make like leaf stuff. Let's see here. Well, that looks fun. Hey Jeff, practice first.
Maybe I can do some like lettering too, like to fill it in. Um, Vanessa, you missed me eating some pizza. Huh? <laughs> what? Somebody asked what the, what they miss. Or maybe just like some, like the pieces of letters too, right? Like. I like how some letters are made. But not necessarily the whole letter. doing a lot of these kind of things so I might as well just practice JJ said hi Twitter. I'm eating far too much chocolate <laughs> you can never eat too much chocolate See, it's fun because you just use the angle of the brush. You use how fat it is and then how skinny that part. Like, just... It's fun. Like, I've been... I, I've loved to do lettering as long as I can remember. Right now, if you guys just joined, I'm just kind of warming up, just doing some <clears throat> some just kind of, I guess I, you can call them exercises, but not really. It's just getting used to the brush, like these are brand new brushes and they all act different. I think that is paint thinner. Where's my...
JJ, you just <laughs> just gotta keep doing it, man. Gotta keep it up. God, that is some hardcore alcohol right there. All right, so let's use. Let's get one of these guys. Who's these guys will be? So I want to do some kind of like flower petal ish esque. And then like add some like these guys are fun. These guys are fun little fillers. See, you just use you just use the brush itself. Let the brush do it, you know? It's got a pointy and then it's rounded, so if you just let's see here. Is this moving on me? It is moving. This little guy is moving, isn't it? <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. Alright, let's get another little spot here. Let's do some. I'm gonna do some of these guys. That is not good for drawing. That's not a good look there. So I'll probably save the line stuff for the thinner brushes or or the uh, the paint pen. Good song. Damn, that is nice. From Brisbane. <clears throat> and it's funny because this looks like a yellow almost. Can you guys see that it's like shiny? I wonder if it's because I have that. Uh, I'm going to do a couple different types of these filigree stuff. Just making stuff up. What song is that called? If y'all want an amazing song, go look at this guy. Let me turn this down a little bit. Can you guys see that? Like... I don't know what. Maybe see? I guess that's it right there. Fuego? F U E G O? This is a really nice track right here. Wow. Oh, thumbs up on that one. <clears throat> I 
Do I get a noise for donating? Um, uh, yes, you do. <laughs> I can give you a noise if you don't donate. You don't have to donate to get a noise, but whenever somebody does donate, we give them a horn. Let's see here. What else can we do with this little brush here? Something... Oh, another one. Another one. Oh, from the from John Wick. Y'all. Woo! Who is this? If you could see that. Hey, thank you, Clara. <laughs> Thumbs up too. <clears throat> like with gold, with stuff like this, you can fill in anything with anything like you can just make designs up and if you're just consistent I saw this uh, this uh, elderly Asian gentleman today on YouTube that he uses these brushes that are huge and whenever you see like a character or a kanji, a, a Asian kanji a character, I thought it was the brush itself. I thought it was like how you know when a dry brush goes and, and, and you get streaks and there's paint not there. And Let's see. Like that. And what he was doing, it's not the brush, it's he's literally... He, the brush was like this big. Let's see here. Like it was shaped like this. And he was he would dip it in the paint and push down so it would literally like fan out like this. And then do his characters and not lift it up at all. Like he would just drag it. And I always wondered how they make it look so good and that's how he did it. <laughs> He just pushed the brush down. I thought they actually painted it like that. Like, you're just, I'm disappointed it was supposed to make the honking sound. What, uh, Chris, what, um, did you, if you donated to PayPal, I don't, I can't tell. It doesn't give us a notification for that unless we look on PayPal. Um, but if you did, here you go. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Do the little one now. Ooh, you can do designs on the inside. You can a little bit. You can still kind of see them. Like this is this is a fun little brush here. Ooh, that was nice. That was a fun little brush.
Babe. Babe. Yellow. Um, did we get a donation from Chris? What was it on? I, I'm assuming PayPal. All right, I think I'm done practicing. I'm gonna do some smaller stuff here. Yep. Well, there you go. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> you rock. This one doesn't really bow out like that, like the uh, other one. So you got to be real careful with this one. This one is just like a big fat marker, like a little fat marker. <laughs> Notice how when I'm doing a line, and it's it's funny because this is how I airbrush too, is I put my hand right here. I'm not pushing it, it's just kind of keeping it steady and kind of guiding it so that if my hand decides to go a little haywire, it's it's got a little stabilizer there. That's fun. ATDs, poor people. Uh, yeah, Jacqueline, that's our uh, that's our Facebook group. Uh, all you gotta do is just go answer the question, and you will be permitted in. This would be fun just to sit here and do this all night. <laughs> like, I get lost in just doodling. I think that's cool. I think that's good enough. Alright, let's put this away somewhere. Alright, so... I think what I'll do... Let's move this up so you guys can see. And this guy can go here. It's so weird. These camera angles look like you're like looking at it, but like it's so weird. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so let's just start with. Um, I'm just going to start with the outline. Like I said, I'm not going to go inside. I'm going to leave these black. Hold on one second. We'll see you, Sue. All right. 
So let's start with, I think I'm going to use this, this, uh, this round here. What is this, number eight? And I'm just going to kind of go with the shape and do kind of bigger. <clears throat> I think what I'll do is I'll stop at each line so that um, I wouldn't mind coming back in with like a uh, a black like a sh like a paint pen so it's shiny and do that so that it'll be a nice little contrast between the flat and the gold and then there'll be shiny black. I think that'll look good. It's just going to be a bunch of random filigree, guys. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. So let's start this thing. Ooh, let me take this off or put it on the other hand here. I'm making this kind of rough so it has a little more texture to it Scoot a little bitty to the left. Like that. You see what I'm doing is I'm just pushing down so that I get like a different kind of leafy texture almost. I'm trying not to let any of these touch.
getting too. I don't want to fill all this in. I need to leave some space for fun stuff here. We'll see you, Clara. A little bit to this chin. I'm going to use that, uh, what do you call it, brush? Use this guy. <clears throat> for the inside. I'm just going to stick with these little brushes. so funny like it's so hard to like it's so hard just to start it 
but once you start it it becomes easier Senior helpers, thank you. I feel like my hat's in the way. So is anybody doing this along with me? That's what I want to know. Is anybody drawing or painting or doodling?
let's see here. Let's do some twisties and turvies and curvy little guys over here. I swear, it's like... This camera is so weird. I don't understand where it's at half the time. I think I'm just going to color in the teeth. That's what I think I want to do. Just solid. And just leave a little outline. jamming over here. Carol, don't hurt yourself eating chocolate now. Brush is getting sticky. I don't like that. <laughs> sticky. I want to do one of these again, but I want to have this really awesome red spray paint from Montana and do all gold on that. I think that would be pretty sick piece right there.
This guy must have had one heck of an overbite. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daphne's. I said that right. Listen to some crazy music right now. <laughs> all right, let's see here. So I'm leaving all these so I can make some little puffy stuff. Puffy stuff here. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I'll do this. Let me go come outside of this guy. If I sit there and wait too long and do that, I'm going to mess that up. I don't want to do that. I just pulled this big old long line here. You guys didn't even get to see that. Let's do some outlining. I'm going to do these little puffy things over here. You would think that this is like real up close and it doesn't feel like it is. Maybe just because it's of a smaller picture in the picture.
we got quite a few people left. <laughs> there were like 75 people in here earlier. Sorry for not talking, y'all. Well, thank you, Don and Charles.
Paying attention too much over here. I think what I'm going to do is. <coughs> did my voice just crack? I think I'm going to uh, put some of this color in there. I'm going to do a little bit more of this stuff. And I think I'm going to get the gold paint pen out and do some outlining up in here. doing all these little guys and this stuff do some stuff up in here and then uh, yeah I'm gonna wash this out it's so funny I have a direction that I saw in my head and every time I start it it always goes away and I just kinda start doing whatever I'm doing like Like, I see what I want to do in my head, but I don't, obviously I don't have anything to go by except for my imagination. <laughs> and so, whatever the brush is doing is what I'm doing. <laughs> Where is my, let me see here. God, is this really dried out? I just used this the other day. There's no way this pen is dried out. Pen touch, you need to do better on making your caps and Are you kidding me? This always dry out like next day. Maybe not. We'll see. Alright, so let's do some. I'm just gonna do it like the typical what I've been doing, like outline with some embellishments. Once it hits this spray paint, ugh, this spray paint is terrible. Look at that. Oh my god, if this starts really acting like this. I have to write a note. <laughs>
Like you wouldn't think that that these would dry out the way they do. Oh my god. Come on. Thanks for the pizza. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it'll it'll be going in a better direction here and get these pins to work. Thank you, Tina. I think you got to go up to those uh, three little buttons up there.
This is a good track too. Excision? God. If you guys ever want to hear some hard <laughs> some hardcore dubstep, this is pretty amazing. Like this is some hardcore like it's called Excision. E X C I S I O N and space lasers. I've seen Excision a couple times in concert. They bring 150,000 watts with them in addition to whatever the concert hall has. I'm talking some no joke, y'all. I love this because the more area you find like the blank spots you could just keep adding and keep adding Yeah, uh, Dawn, it's a little bit more than <laughs> rave. Like, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning music at after hours kind of music. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put my um, circle because I want to put a circle in here. I wish I, I wish I knew why I was drawn to circles so much. Like what do they represent? Does anybody know what circles represent? What's up from South Florida? Mother Earth, is that what it is? Unity. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's it's. I love circles. Like, um, I want you guys to try this. Um, it was either Da Vinci, which would make sense because he's a. Uh, what is his? Uh, all his, I don't know his. The way he painted, um, but I think it was him. And this might be a made-up, stupid story, but it was one of the greats that won an art fair or contest or something back, well, obviously way back in the day, by just standing up against a wall and drawing a circle, perfect circle. And if you guys have a wall in your house, I want you to try to do that. And you will be surprised that you can draw a perfect circle with just your arm <laughs> it's fun it's fun to try God, this song is so old. Now I'm just trying to like fill in spaces that um, that I normally wouldn't fill in only because it just brings the shape out of this you know the skull like filling in where there's a line right here like I think I'm gonna do that I might do that with the black pen I'm not sure we'll see It is starting to take shape. What do you guys think? It's starting to take shape? A little bit? Is my hat in the way? I hope not. I'm just trying to fill in like little bitty spots that you can I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Uh, 
That's fun. Have you done a replacement painting for me yet? What does that mean? Do I owe you a painting? JJ? <laughs> Yeah, that one you lost in the mail, the eyes. Oh, God, I forgot about that. The eyes? Mm -hmm. That's hanging on somebody's wall right now. That's, ooh, that makes me mad. Lost in the mail. Somebody stole that thing. Um, what we can do with that I totally forgot it. I'm glad you brought that up um, we can do one when you're here Because I would like to sell this one. <laughs> I'm taking her on her birthday trip. And I need all the loot I can get for this thing. But yeah, we can so do one. When you're here. I guess you can't say jerk on here. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to do a little bit more to these guys here. I really am not a fan of this out here. I guess maybe because it's just so... Um, Be careful with drawing with this paint pen because you can't go back over itself or it'll like smear and it looks like it looks really bad when it does that
it's funny whenever I do something I don't like I normally I get mad and I'll just scrap it and I'll just like stop but I, lately I've just been trying to add to it just to come up with a new design you know way to fill in spots and it's been working like I I'm totally blown away like it's so funny, the older I get, I think the more patience I'm having for artwork. It's so weird. And so I'm, I'm more open to just kind of go, you know, just kind of let go and see how it's going to turn out. Not necessarily have a, have to stick with the original plan. And I wonder if maybe resin has done that <laughs> to me. Like, how fun is just doing this? Like, I really didn't like it that I was doing these things before. That's why I kind of stopped and moved on to something else. And it's turning out like it's fun. the song I like that. Thank you guys for liking this. Thank you, thank you. This is this. It's getting. It's getting a lot. To, like I rarely do stuff like that with paintbrush, like all of it. So it was. It was slightly uncomfortable because there was so much stuff to fill. And I'm, I'm used to doing that stuff with like paint pens. So that was a little like, a little stressful kind of, I guess you could say.
God, you guys remember this song? It's a uh, Tiesto with the uh, what do you call it? What is it? Sarah McLaughlin? Silence. Tiesto's remix. Pretty amazing. How do you say that? Janie? Jan? Yeah, we'll do something fun, JJ. We'll we'll uh, we'll get down. You guys are buying the stickers. I love it. Thank you so much, y'all. That's so funny. Like, and we have this place just at our disposal. Like, I still haven't hooked up my cricket that uh, Judy got for us because you have to like set up an account or something. I think. I like putting these dots in there, it like fills it up just enough. Um, I don't know how much I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with this background. Honestly, I have no clue. This is like a 20, 21. Well, thank you. Miss Bonner. Am I saying that right? Denise or Dennis? I always get those names mixed up when I see them. I'm a horrible reader, y'all. I've told you once before, I'll tell you again, I learned to draw in math and English class. In history. And civics. Is that a word? Science. Pretty much every class. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do the, uh, the circle. Karen, what were you watching? An old what? What is this? <laughs> These people are called Black Tiger Sex Machine. Okay. okay. It's called War. That, is go that goes hard in the paint right there. Maybe I'll do a little outlining with this. Where's my... I have a black that I like... It's a Molotol black. I don't know where it is. Let's see here. Where are my blacks at? It's a Molotol black. And it's shiny. Alright, let's see here. 
Still works. Well, that's good. Yeah, I think this is shiny. Denise, okay. With two ends, not boner. <laughs> Dirty word. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a little black with this because this is, uh, oh no, it goes flat. Or maybe that's just the paper. Which one? Maybe it was this acrylic one. Let's see if this acrylic marker will buy PBO. Are we saying that right? PBO? PBO? Oh my god, that's like pinpoint. Can't use that, that is too small. Oh, maybe this one is. I think this is the uh, shiny one. <gasps> I think so. I think any one will work though. Cause it just has to be a little wider because this is a different black and I've been touching it so much that I think that Jeff did you say is that NAR? <laughs> Molly Cruz coming back? Why is it like I have to I have to Denise I have to like show or hide your comment because you have that word in there it's so silly <laughs> what <laughs> I walk with that tail between my legs Ooh, I gotta get used to these earbuds I wish I had a bigger marker like that. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to use this. I'm just going to do a nice outline with these. Maybe throw one on the inside a little bit. Maybe some on the inside of these guys. This will be fun. to see Tool, y'all. Did I tell you that? Mmm, boy. That's going to be some fun right there, y'all. Alright, I don't think I'm going to go right next to it, so I'm going to outline. I'm going to go literally outline again. Oh, yeah. Sorry, JJ, you're going to love this.
Yeah, I think so too. That dragon one was awesome. That was, that was a fun piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Octopus, uh, that's one, that's the next one I would like to do. Like, that would be, man. Especially something like this. I think that would be awesome to do. Oh, I have that right here, Lisa. 
We didn't dip it in glaze, so wherever I did it, it was shiny, but this is still, this is still, like I can still paint on this and you could put it back in there, I think, is what they said. Yeah. This was just a practice, like. <laughs> I was just seeing what what it would do like how you could just do dots or you know make something dark to light and it kind of worked it was fun that all right we're gonna have to do a little bit of holding this up because I want to kind of make this a little crazy Uh, no, it's not sore. That's got to be Duke Dumont. Sorry, I'm listening to another amazing track. Ooh, this uh, this this uh, teal's looking good on here, huh? I think I'm gonna do a couple.
See, the more stuff you add, the more detail comes out in it, you know? God, I haven't had this much fun since the dragon piece. See what it looks like if I do a little black on the inside of here. Thanks. Uh, it is Aqua. Right? Yeah, Aqua by uh, Posca. There's like three different names on here, or more than that. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> different ways to say it. Aqua green. I'm gonna see what this does. If it's like a different color black, it pretty much is. Like if I just start filling in these parts, and I bet it would look good when I put the uh, um, the resin over it. You'll be able to see this, maybe. <laughs> now that it's drying, it just kind of goes back to flat. Unless there's a color over it, you really can't see it. You could clean stuff up with it though, that's for sure. Let me do this. Well, I hope if, uh, if anything tonight, um, I've inspired you guys to uh, just do it. Just, just start doodling. And if you don't like it, keep doodling. Because <laughs> you never know. You could start your own new style. I've been like really like trying to uh, start a piece and finish it. Like because I... If I don't finish it in one day, back in the day, I would never finish it, ever. Like, it was impossible to get me to finish anything that I started didn't finish in one, one, uh, one day. I think what I'm going to have to do, because of all this stuff, you guys can see that that uh where my hand touched and then that's all graphite i mean you could see it so what i might do let me put a little design in here Okay. <laughs> you think, JJ? I just don't know uh, what I'm thinking about doing. Is uh, putting. I'm going to separate this. Uh, 
a light show Putting a piece of, uh, what do you call it, down? What's it called? Sticky paper. <laughs> Sticky. Sticky. Um, <clears throat> cutting it all out, leaving this so I can, like, Spray this with the black so I can just go this back to black. Unless I just take um, unless I just take this black and just make a bunch of designs back here. Like just take some of that stuff and just rub it all over here so that it gets on here so it'll be a little bit different color let's try that oh god I just moved this whole table <laughs> I guess my wheels aren't locked all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see what this will do I didn't really do anything well, I moved you guys. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, if I just like, maybe if I just put it on my hands and, and. Oh yeah, look at that. It turns like a silverish color. Ooh, that's fun. And then I can just draw on the on the here with the black and it'll be a lot, you know, it'll be quite a bit more darker. Well, that's fun. See, I'm just putting it on my hand and wiping it over this black. I'm not going, I'm, I'm leaving this part though. So that'll be cool. That'll be like a black to the pattern. Woo, duh. This is going to look awesome. just about spilled that gold paint. Sorry if I'm shaking that camera, y'all. It actually looks pretty cool with just with this on here. Like it's giving it like this really weird gnarly like texture. Like a little bit darker than gray. Almost like a silver glow. Alright, let's see what this is going to look like here. Let me move this guy down for you guys can see. So we'll start over here. Sorry, I haven't been reading y'all. Robin, you want a dragon piece, huh? 
Uh, good night, Charles and Don. All right, let's see here. I'm just going to do a bunch of stuff like this. More leafy, maybe. I would love to do a dragon piece for you if you like. This name win and the size and we can get that that uh, sucker going. And see this stuff on the outside, dude, you can just do this all day long. I, I didn't do my circle. I know what I'll do my circle with. Can you guys even see that? Like, I don't even know if you could see what I'm doing.
Can you guys see? I don't even know. Yeah, I know you can't see that. Um, I'm thinking about resin it tonight. If you guys want to hang out for that long. <laughs> I'm in for the long haul. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. I just hope that when I put resin over this, it doesn't like cover up um, this black, which I, I don't think it will because this other color's down here. Every time I do this for you guys, I always like go so long on these things. It's so funny. And then see wherever the fingerprints are, I'm just doing little curly cues. So those get covered up. <laughs> I hope I'm doing enough. Like, because I want, um, I want this to uh, this black to show up, but then I'm afraid all these little hard fingerprints are going to show up. This is so subtle and I'm, I'm afraid when the resin hits it, it's just going to pick it all up. Well, we'll see. There's like spots where they're it, that it's real heavy. I think it'll be all right though. I like that piece. That was fun. All right, we got one little last part over here. Do that again.
Now this is going to be darker. My hand's getting so dirty. No, that better go flat. <laughs> What time is it? Oh my god, it's 11? <laughs> I did not know it was that late, y'all. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, I need to get this heat gun over here. Sure, all this is dry. Awesome. I'm glad y'all can see that. I think if I drop it, you can see it really bad. Right? Here, I'll give you guys just this. I wonder why that doesn't seem... Plane overhead. That's so. God. Hold on a second, y'all. I need to figure out how to work these, like set these cameras up because I have these wide angle cameras. to do and tell me if this sounds crazy I don't know why I'm just I'm seeing like just a perfect circle right here but I want it to be how I was saying how that Asian uh, the Asian artist he you know it made it a brush stroke I don't think it'll turn out like that if I do it with this so I'm thinking of just doing dots like, I want a circle right here. Like, so it kind of goes through this and maybe this, and it'll just be. What do you think of that?
think that's what I want to do. I'm going to use my pizza plate. What do you think about that? If I just put dot, like just did the dot. You know how I do my dot ones? Will be on. How are you? How have you been? You know, you know, sometimes life catches up, and you gotta gotta do life. You gotta adult. We'll we'll be here. <laughs> Somebody will be here. I want to do this red. Yeah, I literally just want to make bop, dop, 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 dop. But I don't like this. I don't like the edge of this plate. I'm afraid I'm going to make it. I think it's going to hit it. I have a compass, but I don't want to. I don't want to put a line around that. Would I be able to see it? TD. Did you guys get your stickers today? I think they're almost selling out. <laughs> we have a bunch on there. Not too many of each ones though. I think if I do this and just make sure the dot is big enough, I think it would look nice. Or what if I just traced it? What if I just said whoosh, and then whoosh, like just kind of real fast, like make it like a real fast. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do the dots and if I don't like the dots I can just make it a, per, a circle I guess I'll just start where I can't really see that well I don't know if these are gonna be big enough Sorry if I'm getting in y'all's way. Let me move this camera a little bit so I can, I, I've got to get, I can barely see on this side. I 
I think I'm gonna go back and make the dots a little bit bigger. Super like not very noticeable, but I like it. resin will bring this out too Yeah, I thought about doing the black. I think that'll be cool. We'll just do a couple and see what it looks like. <laughs> I just did one little one here and you can see I just I don't know I think it might bring too much attention to it I think this marker nib is too much let's see if this is smaller do every other four and leave one
I know I'm going to accidentally do an extra one. That's the thing, you really don't notice them too much. You guys, I don't even know if I have room in my dust free zone for this if I, if I, uh, I resin over this. You know what? I didn't even think about if I <laughs> if I get back around and there's going to there's going to have to be one that's in between. Uh I don't know if that's going to happen. I might have to just go outline all of them. There's three right here. <laughs> you really can't even tell though, right? Like, or can you? We'll just do these two. They'll be the special ones. <laughs> That's super fun. See you beyond. Thanks for stopping in.
All right. I think I want to be done with her. I'm thinking. I think I want to be done with her. I'm pretty sure I'm done with her. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Oh, we still got 44 people watching. <laughs> That's so rad, you guys. All right. Pretty sure we can just move some of those. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do the resin tonight? Thank you, Carla. Looks like she took good care of her teeth. <laughs> Kinda. There's that drawing line right there that I'm not really fond of. Looks pretty cool. Got rid of that line. You think it should drive o overnight too? <laughs> a layer of resin over it. Where isn't that bad boy?
All right, signed. Let's see here. I wanted to do that, do like some sprinkle of uh, that gold, like how, like kind of splatter it with like the brush. I don't know, we'll see. I gotta put all these little guys away. <laughs> Excuse me. I need a little cup. How about a paint cup for a paintbrush cup? Shoot, I don't have any paper over here though. Let's see here, let's see here. This old sandpaper. Right, let's see here. Seal it. I don't know if I want to spray anything on this gold. I think it'll dull it out. for a dentist. I just resonate. <laughs> I just don't have any room over here, guys. What is up? <sighs> All right, let's see here. Let's see the room. I don't know. Hold on. Give me two minutes. Remember what I sealed the uh, what I sealed these uh, 
posters with if it was gloss first I'm not sure <laughs> sleep all night first hmm The only thing I'm worried about is just this table. Because I have this cutting board underneath it. I can't remember if I sprayed Kamar varnish on it. I guess we can test it. I'll uh I'll draw on this and then I'll draw some Put some this color on here because I remember I did a couple coasters and I put resin on it and I, and I felt like it doled out um, It doled out the the Posca pins, but I can't remember if I used those old ones or if they were maybe, I don't know. I'm just gonna see if I if I spray uh, if I spray some I'm gonna spray some of this on there um, just to see what uh, what it does to this gold. And it stays gold y'all and then I can resin over that right god that looks good well it doesn't look like well that's the thing it's all shiny this the the shiny doesn't um, I mean it still looks gold but now it's just all shiny like the black is shiny because the black was flat. The gold is semi shiny. Let's see what happens here. Ah. Does it flatten that out? I think it looks nice. What about this paint pen? Yeah, it definitely flattens it out a little. But it still looks good, it's still gold. Y'all, it still looks good with the paint pen too. Let's do matte. I'll just do a little bit of matte. See what that does. We got some matte finish here. I'm gonna spray it on this side. Oh, 
color. Look at that, y'all. They turned it like gray or uh, like a dark. Let's see when it dries. It didn't really do anything to the paint pen, but it definitely turned the uh, the paintbrush stuff darker. Now let me do that. Where didn't I spray that at? Over here. Yeah, the Carmar varnish side looks awesome. It still stands out. It doesn't it doesn't See where I wrote that. Yeah, I think I'll spray the Carmar varnish on it. Maybe I'll just spray the Carmar varnish on it now. Um, and then... Uh, Um, spray the Carmar varnish on it and let that dry overnight and then I'll, I'll resin it tomorrow because I don't I don't have anywhere to put this yet and I want to I want to make sure I have room in that dust free zone how's that sound is that, is that, is that fair I'm going to spray this over it but I'm not going to spray it near my laptop. So I'm going to go over here. You guys can see over here. Can you? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to spray this and... Ugh. Now this stuff really brings out that black. Stuff is strong, y'all. It darkened up a little bit, but man, it looks nice because that paint pen is still shiny. Man. I'm not mad at it. But it's getting brighter. Y'all, I could go over this again with the paint pen in places and make it darker, make it like brighter. Wow, y'all, I'm really digging this. Okay, 
I say he haul. Yeah, let's let this dry overnight. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't know how this is. Uh, dude, I'm really digging this paint pen though. I'll take a, uh, I'll take a video of it real quick and put it on ATD's Poor People. Well, that's shine. Video. I'm gonna do this video and then I'm gonna put it on ATD's poor people. Hold on one second. A little quick video of tonight's drawing. Went a little crazy with the gold. See if you can see how shiny that gold paint. Yeah, you really can't because that reflection is too bright. But I'm digging it. I really like it. I like how it turned out. And that uh, this light above my area here is super bright all right y'all that's fun um, here I'll do this real quick sorry <laughs> I said give me one minute Yeah, if you guys just joined um, our YouTube channel, we have a Facebook channel, Facebook channel, Facebook page called ATD's Poor People. Um, all you got to do is answer the question to get in, we'll let you right in. Access to all the amazing people in our in our group. Hold on a second. Tonight's drawing. video and picture so I was drawing on our YouTube channel This should be up in like two minutes. This is what it looks like. Oh. ATD's poor people. Dirty heads, mad at it, and vacation. All right, let me, let me put that on my Pandora. Ooh, I got all kinds of good stuff on here. I think it just went up, so. What do we got? Dirty heads. Artist. Oxygen. What is it called? Mad at it? Here's vacation. I'm gonna put on vacation. JJ, if I don't like it, I'm gonna let you know. 
is still sticky. So, I think what I'm going to do from now on, do the paintbrush, the gold, and then uh, literally outline everything with the paint pen and then spray it. Oh man. I'll take a uh, I'll take a video of it tomorrow in the sunlight. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. But um, all right, read all that fun stuff. That's our information. Um, I like it so far. Very sublimey. We can have that on in the background. The dots are outlined, you guys. <laughs> like, the dots are outlined, except for every fourth one. <clears throat> All right, um, I'm out of here. I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> you guys have an awesome night. Thanks for joining us tomorrow. Uh, Erica goes live twice, I believe, because she's got to review two different products. Um, and yeah, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, you guys have an awesome Monday night. <laughs> I forgot what night it was. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out with me for three hours and 37 minutes. You guys rock. Rock stars what you guys are um you have a good night thanks for showing up bye